Good morning. It is day three of Vlogtober. I am out on a sort of quick morning run. We are leaving from Newport Beach to go home to San Jose today, which means um, we're trying to time it against LA traffic. We either had to leave super early at 5 a.m. and none of us really wanted to do that because that means it's super early at 5 a.m. and Eleanor did not sleep well last night, so she kept me yelling for her dad all night. So there was that. Um, she finally fell asleep at like four. So Daniel and the girls are still sleeping. I'm off on a run. And it's going to be about six and a half, seven hours of driving today. Um, it's about six hours, I think, if we drive straight. But we can't drive straight with the kids. Um, also, we have to leave at like 10. So we definitely have to stop for lunch. Um, so there's that. Let's see. The Haunted House that Mystery Knit Along is coming along great. It is the perfect amount of knitting, especially if you, um, kind of, kind of busy and don't have a bunch of time. Um, I'd say it's maybe like a half an hour of knitting every day. Definitely doable and definitely easy to catch up if you fall behind because it's only a half an hour. Granted, I've been on break, so we'll see how it is during the school year. But it's definitely manageable. Even if I was working, I, the honestly, the longest part right now is taking me is because I'm hand winding my minis, which is my own doing, but I thought it was silly to bring a ball winder on vacation for three days. So yes, hand winding minis, but you could do it super fast. Let's see what else. I am working on the crazy sock ladies, Ryan Beck Roomies, which is my October sock swap that I'm doing with my sister. I'm on sock two. It's a very fast pattern. I really enjoy it. It's it's really addicting too because you're like, oh, I'm just gonna get to one more one more repeat. Oh, but that was only four rows, so I can do it again. So that was it's that's really cute. Let's see. And I'm working on my design. My design is almost done. I'm on the knit flat part of the design. And the knitting gods smiled upon me and test knit. That was due on October 6th that I was like speeding to even get to start working on is has been moved back to the 16th which means i still have to cast it on i still haven't cast it on i don't know what my issue is i really need to cast it on um so i gotta do that i don't know why i won't cast it on honestly it's Charlie says i'm a princess about it and i think i am um if i'm not intrigued by the mode of communication that's happening in the testnet group i struggle like this one is run on slack and for some reason i'm not getting the slack notifications so i'm not that invested in testing because i've lost that community aspect of it and i can't figure out how to fix my slack so that i get the notifications and then another one testnet that i'm working on is the platform is only a website so i don't get notifications when people say things so then i forget to check it yes and then the same thing happened in another testnet when it was a ravelry thread because you kind of you only get notifications if your comment is responded to in the Ravelry thread and I use my sister's Ravelry so she gets the notification all of these are very first world problems and very like princessy about me so yeah it's my own I think it's my own process of wanting to do test knits now that if the platform isn't of communication isn't discord or I Instagram chat I don't think I should sign up for the test. I just don't think it's the right move for me. Um, so I think that's it. I will start the test knits. I promise I'm on it. And I think I'm going to go run for a little bit. I did just walk down. I realized that's the hill that I just walked down, which means I have to walk, I have to run back up it, which is going to be super fun. It's kind of cold. It's brisk. I mean, it's cold for California, not like actual cold. Um, so we have a long car right ahead of us. And I'm going to go watch my sister's Vlogtober Day 2. Has my day one gone up yet? No. Have I even edited it? No. But today, tonight, I will get day one up. I will edit this one and hopefully get this one up too. It's not going to be that exciting of a day because we're driving all day. But see you later.
it is 108. There is a fly been stuck in the car for the past 40 minutes. So we've spent the entire time trying to guide it out the window or smash it. So far, Bonnie has swung pillows around at the fly. Daniel slapped his bug bites <laughs> in an attempt to get the fly, and I've tangled my knitting in an attempt to scare away the fly. We'll update later on the, on the status of the fly. Alright, it's 2.49pm. Ooh, big bump. It took us an hour and 41 minutes, but we have managed to get the fly. It's been basically what we've done the entire time. And Lenny has been helping, she's awake now, but I have to sign off because this road is very bumpy. So I just got garlic ice cream from a farm stand on the side of the road. So let's see how it goes. All right, we are back in San Jose. It is 4.46. The girls are watching a little bit of Zaboomafu, so that's what you can hear in the background. And I have my package of Nadine West, which is like, um, it's like a clothing subscription, I guess. It's like Stitch Fix or Wannable or something like that. But this one doesn't charge a styling fee. Um, and your first box is basically free. Usually you just have to pay shipping and then you pay for whatever you keep. But for your first box, they send it to you for free and then you send it back for what you don't like. This is actually my second box. And I guess their sizing was a little off because nothing fit me in the first box. Um, so then I emailed them and they were super great about it. They're like, let us send you another one. And yeah, let's send you another one. So I can try it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll do a little try on. Let's see what we got. I'm like squatting. So let's see what we got. It comes with a lot of stuff. Hold on. So it comes with a lot of stuff. There's a tag with all the different things that you got. Um, you get, and I got one, two, three, four, six tops, one pair of bottoms, two dresses, and two jewelry items. Um, I cover it, so they're right here. It says the prices, but I saw another YouTuber do this and she covered the prices um, before she tried it on so she could actually see, like, did she like it and then looked at the prices afterwards. So I will show you the prices afterwards, but I've covered them so I can actually get a vibe of what I like. So they come in these cute little packages. Um, they're all packaged up like this. They're like rolled up. So I'll show you them. And then I will try them on. Uh, for reference, I am, I usually wear a medium slash large depending on the size or the fit. Um, and that's what I picked for them the first time and it didn't fit. They were all too big. So this time I did a small medium size instead. So hopefully it'll fit better. Usually in like, I usually wear a medium shirt and usually I'm like an eight or a 10 in most of my pant bottoms but I usually just wear yoga pants all the time so there's that all right so this one feels like it has jewelry I got this pink leopard print top it's a pink leopard print tank top I don't think this is my style but I will try it on for you anyway so it is pink leopard print you also got I also got a other this is really uh i don't think it's a dress it's a no this is the i don't know what it is oh i have to look at the skew number oh geez oh geez it's gray one, two, zero, ah. Uh, oh, it's a mini dress. That's exciting. It's a mini dress. <laughs> it's a leopard print mini dress. Okay, we'll see how that goes too. There's skew numbers so you can see what it is. There is also this just gray shirt. And I think this is a dress. This is 
like a wrap dress, I think, which I actually think I kind of like. Um, so it's this nice wrap dress. Um, there's a lot of leopard print, I'm not gonna lie. It's an exceedingly large amount of leopard print going on. Um, so there's another purple leopard print attire. So that's interesting. I think I might change into jeans when I try this on for y'all. There's also this purple tank top. And let's see. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it comes with jewelry, which I actually kind of like this jewelry. This is okay. This is a cuff. It's a silver cuff. It's not really my style. It's kind of chunky for me, but comes with a silver cuff and a necklace, just a plain plated necklace, which I don't think I'm going to take out because I don't usually wear jewelry. So it's not really my thing. Um, the silver bracelet was $15.29 and the necklace was $33.99, which is just not my style. Oh, this could be exciting. Stretchy jeggings. I love a good stretchy jeggings. Um, yeah, we'll see how they fit. We, we'll see how we feel about these. Uh, they are ripped and I don't like to wear ripped things to school. So I'm a teacher. Um, so we'll see about that. And then a plain black top. All right. I'm going to set you in a different place and I am going to try all this on. This is the first Nadine West look. It's all right. Um, so here are the jeans. They fit nice. They're a large, but they're too small for my calves. Um, I have, I guess, gigantic calves. They're too small for them. So I'm a little bit squished into them. It gets looser as it goes up. They're definitely that skinny jean vibe of 2008 or yeah. Um, I also feel like I'm going to a go-go. So I feel like this would be amazing if it were 2008, but it's not 2008, it's 2023. So I'm going, I'm thinking no with the pants and the shirt is too long for me. It hangs almost all the way down. Like it could be a mini dress. It covers my whole self, which just, I'm short torso. So this is the first Nadine West that's a no, but here's the full effect. I can imagine my sister saying, oh God, Gabs, as she sees me. <laughs> but this is the first Nadine West look. Let me get the second one. Okay. It's just a plain black shirt. That's also very, very long like very, very long on me. It's fine. Like I could make it work, but you could also just get this shirt at Target or Costco where I buy most of my clothes. So I think it's fine, but for a, trying to go outside your comfort zone or getting a shirt that you wouldn't normally have, I don't know, ask my husband what he thinks. This is a maybe, but I think it's too long. But yeah, I didn't look at the price on this one. So this is definitely a maybe buy. Okay, this seems like it's the same shirt, but in gray. And also, ultra long again. I can bunch it up, but it seems so long. Yeah, it's also got this like distressed heather look that I felt like I would totally be into in again 2008. It just, I don't know, feels like I'm like a decade behind the times right now. I don't know. Again, it's a fine v-neck shirt, but I could just get a two-pack of these from Costco and call it good. All right, let me All right. Yeah. I got a hot pink leopard print attire going on. Yeah, this is another time Chase going to say, oh, God, Gabs. Yeah, it's also too long for me. But I also feel like I would have thought this was really cute in 2008. Um, going with the no on the pink leopard print. Yeah. I also don't wear tank tops to work, so I really need clothes for work. I'm going with a no. Also, a, it's a fine tank top. Like, it's all fine. I just feel like I could get this out Old Navy and be good to go for less. Slash, yeah, I don't know. Still wearing the Nadine West pants they sent me because I figured I should get the whole Nadine West vibe. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't wear tank tops. This also feels really long. I think it should be on here on me. Maybe, yeah. Pretty short torso, I don't know. I'm thinking no. Let me try. Oh, I think I'm out of shirts. I'm out of shirts and on to dresses. Let me grab the dresses. All right, here am I in the leopard print mini dress that seems too large for me. I think it's got too, I don't know. I can't see that far. I think it might be a nightgown. I don't know. I can't see the camera because I can't focus that great because I can't see that far. But I'm thinking no. It also feels like there's a lot of space <laughs> under there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see this. I think I may actually be into this last dress. And I think what sold me, there are pockets. So I actually think I like this dress. I'm going to look in my actual mirror and see how it goes. Can't, got to make sure it doesn't look too maternity-y on me, but I actually think this might be solid. It's brown. I don't know if it's a reading that way, but I think this might be solid. I'm gonna show my husband, show my daughters, let them tell me what to think. So this could be my only, yes, I have a week to decide. So this vlog will go up on October 4th. I don't have to mail it back to like the 10th. Um, yeah, so I've got some time. Um, comment below, tell me all of the, tell me what you think. Yeah, I know, try and close on for the internet is kind of stressful. And you also see what my actual living room looks like the whole time. Yep, it always looks like this. So, let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave this dress on, go ask my husband what he thinks, and do some cleanup, and then see you in a little bit. I chatted with my husband about the dress, and he's like, it looks exactly like your wool land dresses that you already have. And I was like, that's true. And then I put on one of my woolen dresses that had the same kind of wrap dress look. And it actually looked nicer on me than the Nadine West one because the Nadine West one I thought had a little bit too much fabric. Um, it looked like one of the dresses that I owned when I was wearing maternity clothes. And I don't want to go back to that face. So I'm not keeping anything. Um, I'm packaging it up. It's actually super easy to package up and then I'm gonna write to them and I think I'm gonna cancel my subscription unless, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna cancel my subscription. Um, it's a little bit too much animal print for me and it's a little bit too casual for me for work. Um, so they're really comfy, like I like the clothes, I just don't think it's the right subscription box for me. However, I will pop their information down below if it does look like stuff that you like and maybe it just doesn't fit right on my body. And that's okay. So I will pop that below. I'm not an affiliate or anything. It's just something that I was trying out. So if you want to try it out, I think it's like a refer a friend credit, whatever, and you'll get like $25 if you're off your first purchase or whatever. And yeah, but no stress either way. Like I said, not an affiliate. I think I may be canceling anyway, but if it's something that works for you, then do that. I am going to try and wind up some projects. Um, I need to wind up this, today's Haunted House MCAL, um, and then I need to edit the vlog from day one, because I haven't done that yet, and then edit this vlog, yeah, and post it all tomorrow, so that I'm finally caught up, and we've got very, very busy days, so I will catch you in a little bit.